Morris, I was of the opinion that the Zionists wanted a Romney victory in the U.S. elections. And if they had gotten a Romney victory, then he would have waged Israel's wars for Israel without any hesitation. In the last interview, I mentioned to you that the film on Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings be upon him, was hatched, hatched somewhere in um, California and released on the internet uh, just before 9-11. It appears to me to have been produced and, and, and released at that time to inflame public opinion around the world of Islam and to present, with the, present the American voting public with images of angry Muslims around the world, which would have played into Romney's agenda that you need a president who is strong enough to teach those radical Muslims a lesson. And I then said that if uh, this film on the Prophet did not deliver the job and uh, Obama's ratings did not start to fall dramatically, then the Zionists would probably have an October surprise up their sleeves. I think it's too early for us to be able to say whether or not Sandy was an October surprise. But I'm conscious of the fact that Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings be upon him, did warn us that the Antichrist would have control over the weather. That he would cause the rain to fall and stop the rain from falling. And he would do that in pursuit of an agenda of supporting those who followed him and punishing those who did not follow him. And so I would not at all be surprised to learn that we now have man-made hurricanes, man-made earthquakes. And the Sandy was meant to be an October surprise to give the edge to Romney. But it's too early, and we do not have the evidences yet to be able to say whether or not Sandy was an October surprise. But if my analysis is correct, that the, the, the Zionists preferred to have a Romney victory, and the American voting public, despite uh, the colossal damage in New York and New Jersey, went out and voted and gave Obama uh, re-election. The implication could be that there are indeed limits. <laughs> limits to Zionist capacity to control and to manipulate. And I mentioned in previous interviews that Western man is now waking up. And one of the greatest dangers that the Zionists can face in the world would be from within Western civilization. If thinking people and articulate people waking up to, to the ride on which they've been taken and now seeking to extricate themselves from that venomous embrace. So if we are correct that the Zionists wanted a Romney victory and instead got an Obama victory, the implication now would be that the pressure would be on Obama to deliver. Because surely he must have made promises, give me some time until the elections, give me some time until the elections. And if he does not deliver, then the writing could be on the wall and we'll have another JFK on our hands. I hope it does not happen. But I'm sure Obama knows the danger that he now faces. 
I mean, I can see the, the desire and the need to create chaos through the weather. That is a very profitable um, in itself, regardless of its influence on the on the elections. To to constantly create chaos throughout our societies is just a given part of the agenda that we're living under. Well, that um, reminds me that part of the process through which we can get evidence that this is not an act of nature is to do what should have been done after 9-11. If the number of Jews who are involved in Wall Street in the financial world far outweighs their proportional representation in the, re in the population. Then the number of Jewish fatalities in 9-11 should have been significant. If 3,000 people were killed on 9-11, what percentage of them were Jews? <laughs> in the process of doing this investigation, we probably learn that lots of them did not go out to work that day. Similarly, in the case of Sandy, if someone could make a rounds of the insurance companies and find out how many people took out insurances that were suspicious prior to Sandy and are now reaping the benefits of foreknowledge of what is to come we will then be able to get concrete evidence, significant evidence, supporting the thesis that Sunday was more than an act of nature. Yes, indeed. You, you, I'm amazed at your insight into the darker side of the world and how it works. But uh, I, absolutely. I, the, I, I think it's impre impregnable you, you, to access the uh, type of information you're suggesting, insurance policies, etc. I mean... We're, we're, you're, you're at the kernel of the gangsters there, you know, um, you know.